Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to Polyphonic Press. My name's Jeremy. Today I'm going to be reviewing Gold Cobra by Limp Bizkit. So this album starts off with an uh, intro called Introbra, which is very reminiscent of the intro to The Dark Side of the Moon with the sort of the thumping heartbeat sort of rhythm that it has. It's sort of um, just a swarm of noise. And I really just found it irritating to listen to. The second track of this album and the actual first song is called Bring It Back. It starts off with a really cool guitar riff and that's really cool until the drums come in. And the drums are sort of an electronic uh, based sort of synthesized sound and it really doesn't blend in well with the rest of the song. Um, you know, electronic drums are fine when they're in electronic music, but blended with a heavy rock guitar, it just sort of, it, they're clashing, and it just doesn't sound very good. This song really sets up the album for a disappointment. So the title track of this album, obviously, is called Gold Cobra. And it starts off with another really cool guitar riff, um, you know, Wes Borland is an amazing guitar player. That's one thing about Limp Bizkit is these guys are amazing musicians and they're a really tight band. Um, musically, they're they're really um, focused and they can play well off of each other. Live drums this time, um, which is good, uh, it, which makes the song instantly sound better than the last one. But lyrically, again, the, this song addresses the fact that Fred Durst doesn't care what people think about him. And I understand where he's coming from. He's telling everyone that he doesn't care what people think about him, which is fine, but that's pretty much all he ever says. And lyrically, it's fine to have one or two songs about that, but when all your songs are about that, it sort of gets old and tired. And that's really all that you care about. I mean, all you care about is the fact that you don't care what people think about you. I mean, Fred Durst is 40 years old and he's still talking about the same things he did 10 years ago. And I'm sort of sitting here listening to it and it's sort of like, you know, let it go. But, you know, that's just him, I guess. I, I will admit, though, this song is really hooky and catchy. Um, the, you know, the chorus is really good. It's a, sort of a fun song to listen to, I guess. The song Shark Attack, uh instantly made me think of the song Break Stuff. It's got almost the same riff, sort of, same sort of melody, I guess, if you can call it that. You know, the thing about Limp Bizkit to me is they, lyrically, they don't really grow too much. You know, they're, they're talking about the same things they did 10 years ago, and they, they sort of keep doing the same thing over and over again. They don't really change. All their songs sort of sound the same. And I'm sort of sitting here listening to it and thinking, well, why would I listen to the new Limp Bizkit album when I could just go put on Chocolate Starfish? One of the highlights of this album uh, is a song called Walking Away. It's sort of a ballad, but it's still, it builds into this really climactic, uh, epic um, sound where it's just a slow build from the start to finish. It's not a terrible song. It's it it's one song that sounds different than the rest of the songs. And if Limp Bizkit were to do more songs like this, they would have more longevity to them rather than doing being a one trick pony. Um, this album it really disappointed me, but this song is honestly it's a standout, and I actually enjoyed listening to this song. But like I said, pretty much all of the songs on this album sounded the same to me. Uh, with a few ex exceptions. None of the songs are really memorable. When Limp Bizkit were very popular, it was really a different time. Like, this was 10 years ago. Their same old shtick doesn't really work 10 years later. However, the musicians are fantastic. Sam Rivers is an amazing bass player. John Otto it has a really good groove to his drums. And Wes Borland is an amazing guitar player. But lyrically, they never really seem to grow. So I'm going to give this album a 3 out of 10. This album has the potential to be a good album, but it never really seems to get there. I really found myself getting bored with this album. It's sort of the same thing over and over again. It really doesn't change very much. It's the same tired routine they did 10 years ago. The only difference is no one really cares. So that's what I thought about the album. Let me know what you guys thought. Uh, leave a comment or a video reply. Check out our Facebook and Twitter pages. Links are in the description as well as our website polyphonicpress.tk. Don't forget to subscribe. That way you'll see when I post a new video. And I guess I'll see you guys on Thursday. Take care. <laughs>